Good morning and welcome to this time of prayer in the morning. Thank you for joining me. In the busyness of the season, let's still our hearts and minds and recognise that we are in the presence of God. O Lord, open our lips and we shall praise your name. Then will the glory of the Lord be revealed, and all will see it together. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and brave, and put your hope in the Lord. There is one body and one spirit, just as there is one hope held out in God's call to you. Help us, O Lord, to conquer all harshness of judgment with your gentleness, to quench all meanness of spirit with your generosity, and to defeat all indifference of compassion with your fervour. Teach us to be courageous in loving, patient in suffering, and attentive in prayer. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Let us confess our sins. Loving God, we have sinned against you in what we have thought, said and done. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and turn away from what is wrong. Forgive us for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. This is his gracious word. Your sins are forgiven. Amen. Thanks be to God. Psalm 95 Come, let us sing to the Lord and rejoice in the rock, our Saviour. Let us come and give thanks in his presence, and greet him with songs of praise. The Lord is a great God, a King supreme over all. In his hands are the depths of the earth, and the mountain heights are his. The sea is his, he made it, and the dry land was formed by his hands. Come, let us kneel and adore, let us worship the Lord our Maker. He is our God, and we are his people, the flock he leads with his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord our God, giver of life, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, at the opening of this day you call us out of darkness into your marvellous light. Blessed are you for ever and ever. Amen. Psalm 127 Without the help of the Lord, it is useless to build a home or to guard a city. It is useless to get up early and stay late in order to earn a living. God takes care of his own, even while they sleep. Children are a blessing and a gift from the Lord. Having a lot of children to take care of you in your old age is like a warrior with a lot of arrows. The more you have, the better off you will be, because they will protect you when your enemies attack with arguments. Second letter of Peter, chapter 1, verse 16, through to chapter 2, verse 3. 
When we told you about the power and the return of our Lord Jesus Christ, we were not telling clever stories that someone had made up, but with our own eyes we saw his true greatness. God, our great and wonderful Father, truly honoured him by saying, This is my own dear Son, and I am pleased with him. We were there with Jesus on the holy mountain, and heard this voice speak from heaven. All of this makes us even more certain that what the prophet said is true. So you should pay close attention to their message, as you would to a lamp shining in some dark place. You must keep on paying attention until daylight comes and the morning star rises in your hearts. But you need to realise that no one alone can understand any of the prophecies in the scriptures. The prophets did not think these things up on their own, but they were guided by the Spirit of God. Sometimes false prophets spoke to the people of Israel. False teachers will also sneak in and speak harmful lies to you. But these teachers don't really belong to the Master, who paid a great price for them, and they will quickly destroy themselves. Many people will follow their evil ways and cause others to tell lies about the true way. They will be greedy and cheat you with smooth talk. But long ago, God decided to punish them, and God does not sleep. The Song of Zechariah Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. The Lord has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through the holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us, to show mercy to our forebears, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous before him all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from heaven shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. God of hope, as we journey towards the crib and prepare our hearts to celebrate the birth of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, we thank you that in his birth, hope was born, a gift to all humanity. We pray and remember those today who are feeling hopeless, anxious, fearful and in despair. Your word says hope deferred makes a heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. We pray for hope and longings fulfilled in the hearts of all those who seek it today. Bring peace, bring light, we pray. And may our hearts be thankful, full of awe and praise as we worship. Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Amen. In faith, let us pray to God our Father, in the name of his Son Jesus Christ, and in the power of the Holy Spirit. God of love, we pray for the life of your church throughout the world. We pray particularly for our brothers and sisters who are suffering persecution for their faith. May every congregation be a community of love, and every Christian a witness to your grace. Renew all who worship in our church, that we may be a living fellowship in your spirit and serve our village. Your kingdom come. 
Your will be done. God of mercy, we pray for the life of the world as it struggles with the pandemic. And we pray for those who exercise power and seek to cling to it, regardless of the cost. Show us how to live as members of the human family, to reject the ways of war, to bear each other's burdens and to work together for justice and peace. Your kingdom come, your will be done. God of compassion, we pray for those who are ill or anxious at home or in hospital. We pray for those who care for them, either at home or in hospital. We pray for those whose lives are filled with fear and despair. Draw near with your saving love and bring healing and hope. Your kingdom come, your will be done. God of glory, we rejoice in the communion of saints. We remember all who have faithfully lived and all who have died in Christian hope. Help us to follow their example and bring us with them into the fullness of your eternal joy. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Merciful God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as pass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love towards you that we, loving you above all things, may obtain your promises which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We say together the prayer that Jesus gave us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord our God, as with all creation, we offer you the life of this new day. Give us grace to love and serve you, to the praise of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.